Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Amazon RDS read replicas followed by a quick demo. RDS read replica is a read only copy of the DB instance and it helps provide enhanced performance and durability for RDS. RDS read replicas enable increased scalability and database availability in case of an AZ failure. It also provides elastic scaling beyond the capacity constraints of a single DB instance, especially for the read heavy database workloads, thereby increasing aggregate read throughput. Read replicas can also be promoted when needed to become standalone DB instances for disaster recovery use cases. RDS read replicas can be multi-AZ and now we can have a standby instance for the read replica in a different AZ. Read replicas are eventually consistent due to the asynchronous replication. RDS uses DB Engine's built-in replication functionality to create a special type of DB instance called the read replica from a source DB instance. It uses the engine's native asynchronous replication to update the read replica whenever there is a change to the source DB instance. Read replica operates as a DB instance that only allows read only connections. Applications can connect to the read replica just as they would do to any DB instance. Let's navigate to the RDS console. Click on the databases. We already have an RDS demo DB created in the free tier with automated backups enabled. Read replica creation requires automatic backups enabled on the source DB instance. Let's select the database instance and click actions. Choose create read replica. Under the create read replica DB instance, we will configure the read replica settings. Under replica source, choose the source DB as the RDS demo DB. For DB instance identifier, let's enter RDS demo read replica, that is RR. For the instance configuration, let's choose the burstable classes, which includes the T classes. And let's select the T3 micro instance class. It is recommended to have the read replica with the same size as the primary source DB instance. Else it would impact the replication and you may encounter higher replica lag. Under AWS region, leave as default, which is US East North Virginia. Read replicas can be created within the same AZ, different AZ within the same region, and cross region as well. For this demo, we would create the read replica in the same region as the primary. For storage, let's select general purpose SSD with an allocated storage of 20. We'll uncheck the enable storage auto scaling for now. In the availability and durability, we will configure the read replica as a single DB deployment. Read replicas can now support multi-AZ setup as well. In terms of connectivity, we'll leave most of the connectivity's configuration as default. Subnet group is the same as the primary source. Public access enabled. Default security group which allows all inbound and outbound traffic. 
no preference for the availability group and let's leave the port to be 3306. Leave the default password authentication for database authentication and we'll leave the additional configuration section as default as well. Let's go ahead and create our read replica. You will be brought back to the database dashboard page. Once you refresh the page, you can see the primary source instance in the modifying state and it has the read replica in the creating state. During the read replica creation process, RDS will take a snapshot of the source instance and create the read only instance from this snapshot. RDS then uses the asynchronous replication method for the DB engine to update the read replica of any incoming changes to the source DB instance. RDS sets up a secure channel communication between the source DB instance and the read replica. If that read replica is in the different AWS region from the DB instance. During the read replica creation, a brief IO suspension on the source DB can be encountered. Also, the read replica creation time can be slow if any long running transactions are being executed and it would wait for the completion. The primary DB instance is now in the available state. The region and AZ has now been assigned to the read replica as well. The read replica is now in the available status. Let's navigate into the database. And you can see the primary instance and the read replica has different endpoints to connect to. Let's check the logs for the source instance. And you can see a backup was completed. Let's check the logs for the read replica as well. The relevant log captures the creation of the DB instance, bin log position and the replication process being resumed. Let's connect to both the source and the read replica instances. Let's copy the source DB instance DNS endpoint and connect to it. And the connection is successful. Let's also copy the read replica DNS endpoint and connect to it. And the connection to the read replica is successful as well. We can check the master status and it will show us the bin log position. This command doesn't show the slave status though. We'll create some sample data. Let's go ahead and create a books database. Within the books database, we'll create an authors table and we will insert some sample data into the authors table. Quick check on the bin log position and it's incremented. Let's now check the same on the read replica DB. List the databases and you can see the books database is now replicated. List the tables and you can see the authors table. List the content on the authors table and we can see the record. If you try to insert or write to the read replica, you will get an error mentioning the DB instance is running with the read-only flag. RDS read replicas enable increased database availability in the case of an AZ failure. An RDS read replica can be promoted into a standalone DB instance. When the read replica is promoted, new DB instance is rebooted before it becomes available. The new DB instance created 
retains the option group and the parameter group of the former read replica. The promotion process can take several minutes or longer to complete depending on the size of the read replica. If you plan to promote a read replica to a standalone instance, AWS recommends that you enable backups and complete at least one backup prior to the promotion. Read replica promotion can be used for failover and as a data recovery scheme if the primary DB instance fails. We'll now go ahead and promote our read replica. We already have the RDS demo database and the RDS demo RR read replica created and in the available state. Let's select the read replica and in order to promote the read replica, we can click on actions and then promote. We'll leave the defaults and go ahead and click promote read replica. Let's wait for a few minutes for the action to complete. The RDS demo read replica is in the modifying state. Both the source DB and read replica has now changed into a standalone DB instance. This means the read replica has now been promoted to an independent primary master instance. So that's it for the read replica demo where we created a read replica for an existing DB instance and promoted the same to be a standalone instance. I hope you liked the demo. Thank you all. Alright, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.